Chinese President Xi Jinping has called on Communist Party members to follow Marxist principles and lead the drive to make China an international power. His comments come two days ahead of celebrations of the 100-year anniversary of the Communist Party. Celebrations are already taking place, including a gala performance at Beijing's famous National Stadium, also called the Bird's Nest. Exhibitions about the Communist Party's history are open and other preparations are underway in central Beijing. Security is tight in Beijing in the run-up to this week's celebrations. Traffic has been shut down. Surveillance and security personnel numbers have been ramped up. But the streets are decked out in patriotic flower arrangements and national flags. People are being encouraged to capture the event on camera. And they're flocking to a temporary 100th anniversary propaganda exhibition. It all seems to be having the desired effect. Do you want the Communist Party to stay in power for the next 100 years? Yes, of course. Why? I think the party is very good. It's enabled us ordinary people to achieve happiness in our lives. Though I can't attend the July 1st celebratory event in Tiananmen Square in person, I still feel very honoured when I think about it. I went to Tiananmen Square a few days ago and it was spectacular. It really made me feel excited. Tiananmen Square, the scene of a deadly government crackdown in 1989, is closed to visitors this week. It's set to host the centenary celebration's main event on July 1st. But celebrations already started with a bang on Monday evening. A lavish event at Beijing's Olympic Stadium emphasized China's rise to economic and political prominence. And it was watched by thousands of spectators, all waving Chinese national flags. On the same evening, several Chinese cities staged light shows to mark the Communist Party's history. And on Tuesday, Chinese President Xi Jinping awarded loyal party members with medals. Xi lauded them for their selfless sacrifices in helping to achieve national independence and prosperity. And he called on all for a continued adherence to Marxism. Let's get more on this from correspondent Matthias Berlinger, who joins me now from Beijing. Matthias, it's a very important milestone for the Communist Party, no doubt. But is it the same for Chinese citizens as well? It's very hard to say uh, how much Chinese citizens really participate with interest in these uh, celebrations. On the other hand, there's also no way to evade them. Uh, the whole city is under a special regime during these celebrations. Uh, metro lines or stations have been closed and the roads are closed to carry the delegates who participate in these celebrations from one place to another. Um, in the past year, I would say that the Communist Party might have made some gains in public opinion due to their response to COVID. People have at least seen that many things are not as bright outside of China as they used to seem. But uh, most of the time, people keep their opinions to themselves. People have are used to live with a party that does not allow dissent, and they have found their ways to deal with it. Uh, give us a sense of the, uh, the place that the Communist Party has in ordinary Chinese life. For instance, if you want to have career growth in your chosen profession, does it help to be a party member? If you choose a, uh, a public career, if you are, uh, work in state-owned enterprises, it definitely helps. On this centenary anniversary, Matthias, what is the message that the Communist Party is trying to send out to citizens and to the world in general? 
confidence, confidence and confidence. That is what the Communist Party uses as a slogan often and this is what they show. This uh, celebration is of course massive, it is pompous and that is to show that the Communist Party is in control and to show off its achievements. This is one of the things that Xi Jinping has driven forward since he has come to power to make the Communist Party more visible. His predecessors had chosen to make the party more of an organization that is very powerful in the backseat, but that does not show itself that visibly to the outside world. We can see this, for example, some examples. The the, 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 the head of the state, Xi Jinping, his official title is chairman, which is a very communist term. In English, it's translated as president. And there are many examples like this. Xi Jinping has reversed a lot of this trend and it, he makes the party more visible, more assertive inside and outside China. Now, there is no denying, of course, that China has made great progress in the last hundred years, Matthias. But is there any public discussion of the costs associated with it, such as tightening of government control, quashing of dissent and human rights violations against minorities, for instance? It is increasingly difficult in China to criticize the Communist Party. A lot of the discussions that were possible just 10 years ago, for example, on social media that were also monitored at the time, but that still had a little bit of leeway. A lot of this is not possible anymore. And just ahead of this anniversary, uh, the Communist Party has uh, tightened its grip on well-known dissidents. Many of them has had, have had visits from the police, have been invited to the police, and have been prevented to speaking, for example, to foreign media. Uh, there is of course, reason for suspicion that the Communist Party is not as confident as it seems to be. Matthias Bellinger in Beijing, thank you very much for that insight.